So this in this tutorial we'll look at how we can create a table and then add entries into it. So the commands we'll use is create table, we'll insert into our table some data and then we'll view it and eventually we'll drop the table. So initially we'll have a look to see what's if our table exists and we'll just drop it just now and then we'll select it and we can see there is nothing in there just now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually create this table. So in this case, we uh, create a unique ID, which is our primary key. So every value within inside uh, this part of the uh, the entry uh, requires to be unique. And it's an integer key that we're using. Then we're going to have a surname. And in this case, it can have up to 50 characters as a string. Then we have a date of birth after this. This is in the date time format. We then have interest, which again is 50 characters, and then age is, the, is an integer. So let's create our table. Okay, so hopefully now our table has been created. So what we'll do is we'll in, input a value. And from the from the program, we can we can change put in to here just to show that it that it works and so we'll have a look at the table itself and there we go there's the value that we put in we put in Smith and date of birth here interest soccer and age 50 so we'll do the same again we'll input another value and this time we'll just change this run the SQL and again we'll have a look at the table and we can see there there's the value that we've actually put in we'll go ahead and we'll just add the other two values and then we'll have a look to see if they're there and you can see they are so the last thing we do is we drop the table which will delete it from the database. Once we drop it, then we shouldn't be able to see anything in the table. Okay, so that's showing you a very basic tutorial.